<clears throat> I was about to actually talk. <clears throat> See, this is three reasons <clears throat> why roads are boards so will possibly take an L. I was drinking Kool-Aid and I almost died. So stay tuned. I'll be back for more. Where are you now that I need you? What is up everybody, it's Avatar Yaya. We're talking about three reasons why Road to Boruto will possibly take the biggest L and possibly fail of all time. I got bars. My first reason is why it most likely will fail is the price. A lot of Naruto Storm gamers and a lot of Naruto Storm fans are mad as hell at that price, my niggas. Y'all are pissed, okay? I do have to say this, I'm not trying to take over anybody that don't know what a season's pass is, but let me explain it. The word is seasons and pass. Whatever long that season is, that pass comes out, it only lasts for a season. It doesn't last forever. That sounds so corny for me to say that, but yeah. That being said, the price is pissing a lot of people off. A lot of YouTubers like anime analysts and a lot of other, you know, shickers clouds in them have expressed their opinions on the price range for Road to Board to have been $25 as the last season's pass. It's not really the price, it's really how they distribute the content for that $25. If you guy bought the Storm for Seasons Pass, I bought it on Steam, which is kind of stupid. I should have bought it on PS4. Regardless of that point, you get all the cool shit at the end. I know Ultimates are cool, but what if you don't play with those characters? They're just instant L's. You get what I'm saying? Instead of giving out new Ultimate Jutsus, which kind of seems like it's harder to work on than combos, I guess. I don't know. It's probably less work to work on combos. Why not update those characters and give them new movesets with the ultimate? I know that's a lot of us asking for 25 bucks, but if you guys realize, Mortal Kombat X has done the same thing, and that was only 5 extra dollars. So, that's all I'm going to say about the price. A lot of people get pissed off about that, and you really don't get the cool shit till the end. And however, you know, this leads into my second point is the characters and the character roster. All right, so if you guys played with the Seasons Pass or bought the Seasons Pass, I'm sorry. At the end, guess who you get? You get the Sound 4. And it's really annoying that only like two of the Sound 4 are really good. Jerobo is good too, but you, if you don't like Jerobo, you just not touching his ass. You probably gonna touch Sakon and maybe Tayuya. And you know, shout out to Lucille Shades, the only Jer Jerobo fanboy out there. Regardless, um, yeah, if Rosa Borja does the same thing, a lot of people will be pissed. And they might not capitalize on the whole $25 once they find out which pass has all the characters. Now, if CC2 was smart, I would release a character every time a new season pass date is come about. That's how I would do it. Like Xenoverse did, they released what? I think it was two to three characters and gave out new moves and new parallel quests and extra story missions every time. That's what I feel like Road to Boruto needs to accomplish with the character roster. And it's going to make the game stale because with Road to Boruto, you have freaking a lot of characters and Storm 4 in general, but half of them have already been overplayed in the past games. When you bring them over to the new one and I upgrade them, it's just like, eh, I don't want to really play with them like that. And then you play with the new characters. And say if you didn't buy DLC. Say if you didn't buy DLC. You ball. You got pretty much Hanabi, Naruto the last, Sasuke the last, freaking Ren, Sage Obito, and Sage Madara. That's damn near six characters. I'm not counting Hinata and Sakura the last because they didn't really get too many major updates. I think Hinata did, but it translates over to her other characters as well looking the same. So, you know that character roster list? We got that fucking larger shit, my niggas. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm really talking about. Um, with the extra little spots. Who thinks CC2 is actually going to film them up? We're probably going get, to get four new characters. And right now, we got freaking Pressures confirmed. And we got freaking Mrs. Mr. Invertible Credible out of here. So, that's my second point about the characters and character roster. This is a little rant as well. But, I'm going to just say that. My final point, y'all already know what's coming. My point, if you look at the trailer that you've been seeing in loop for the past couple of minutes, it's the damn adventure mode. Nobody likes freaking adventure mode. Only a few people actually like adventure mode because of the story and the filler. 
I don't care about the filler content. I actually play the filler content. I don't like how they do adventure mode in the Storm franchise. Storm 1, y'all was lit. Storm 2, y'all went downhill. Okay, first of all, your character walk at one mile per second. But Nani, Storm 4 was like, we'll make him walk at two miles per second. So, that's all I'm gonna say. Nobody likes walking around to get to destination A, B, C, D. And then, sometimes, they don't even give you fast travel options. They literally make you walk all the way back to the Leaf Village. That's about five or ten minutes of your time I could have been doing the extra part of the story so I can unlock the damn character. Okay, that's enough of random. That being said, Avatar, Yaya is done. I'm out. See you guys later. Yaya, yeet. Please tell me if you liked the video. And please, I want you guys to hit the bell by my name. If you're on YouTube or if you're on computer or you are on mobile, you're going to see a gear. It's going to say Avatar Yaya, but there is also a bell. We're going to beat this new YouTube algorithm system. So Yaya yeet, Yaya done, and Yaya is out.